The environmental remediation at Da Nang Airport Project in Da Nang, Vietnam utilizes a remediation technology called Impile Thermal Desorption, or IPTD. IPTD is a proven technology capable of destroying dioxin and has been used successfully in the U.S. and Japan. The technology begins with the construction of an insulated, above-ground containment structure. The structure at Da Nang is about the size of an American football field and is capable of storing approximately 45,000 cubic meters of contaminated soil. The walls of the structure are built with prefabricated concrete blocks to a height of about 8 meters. A heavy plastic liner placed at the bottom of the pile prevents liquid from escaping. The liner is then covered with various layers of crushed stone, sand, and insulating concrete. Drainage pipes are placed at the base of the containment structure to capture contaminated liquids, otherwise known as leachate. Once the structure is complete, dioxin-contaminated soils and sediments are excavated from the Da Nang Airport site as determined through the Environmental Assessment conducted by the United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, in 2010. The environmental assessment characterized the extent of dioxin contamination at the airport and served as the basis for remedial design. Due to the volume of contaminated soil, approximately 73,000 cubic meters, remediation will occur in two phases of excavation and treatment. The first phase largely involves excavating and treating soils from the southern half of the site and will conclude in 2014. The second phase, scheduled to conclude in 2016, largely involves excavating and treating sediments from the northern half of the site. After the structure is filled with soil and sediment, it is covered with a layer of gravel and an insulating concrete cap. Approximately 1,250 heater wells are then inserted into the pile. The heater elements inside these wells are critical to the remedial technology and are responsible for heating the contaminated soil and sediment. A horizontal vacuum extraction system, which maintains negative pressure, and air injection wells, which ensure adequate oxygen supply, are also installed. Here is another view of the different layers of the containment structure foundation and sidewalls. The plastic bottom liner, perforated pipes, and layers of crushed stone, sand, and insulating concrete make up the foundation and drainage system of the structure. Metal sheet piles and lightweight concrete walls placed between the blocks and the contaminated soil help insulate the soil and minimize heat losses. As liquid drains from the contaminated soil and sediment in the pile, it is collected by leachate pipes at the bottom of the containment structure and conveyed to the north end of the pile. Air inlet wells supply oxygen to the pile to improve dioxin destruction. Heater wells raise the temperature of the soil and sediment, and the horizontal vacuum extraction pipes collect steam and vapors released from the soil and sediment during heating. All liquid and vapor waste is transported to a treatment plant constructed north of the containment structure. The IPTD system is powered by two electrical substations on either side of the containment structure, built by USAID's Vietnamese project partner, the Ministry of National Defense. Once the IPTD system is started during each treatment phase, it will gradually heat the soil and sediment to a target treatment temperature of 335 degrees Celsius or 635 degrees Fahrenheit. This will take approximately four months for phase one and six months for phase two. The prolonged exposure to high temperatures causes the dioxin compounds in the soil and sediment to break down into non-hazardous byproducts such as water and carbon dioxide. Based on treatability studies and previous applications, approximately 95% of dioxin trapped in the soil and sediment at the Da Nang airport is expected to be destroyed in the pile. The remaining dioxin will be collected as liquid and vapor waste and treated and tested in the respective water and vapor treatment systems before being released into the environment as clean water and clean air stream.